So I'm here with Pastor Dustin Beck from Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, what would you want other men who are thinking about doxology to know about what they're going to experience in doxology? There are a lot of things you'll experience in doxology. Uh, among them, um, a fantastic opportunity for continuing ed, uh, really just second to none um, curriculum. Um, the, the teachings that you're going to learn here are those things that um, maybe we, we didn't spend as much time thinking about while we were in seminary. Um, you know, they do a great job of theology, uh, but as, in terms of the care and cure of souls, um, how do we actually love the people that are in front of us? And, and then as, a, as an addendum to that, how do we take care of ourselves? Uh, as pastors, um, we don't really have somebody that we can go to. We don't really have a support network. I mean, the circuit is great in a lot of cases. Um, you, you know, you have your family, but they're not able to hear some of the things that you struggle with. And doxology is all about a conversation. We, we have conversation here with one another where, where we, can, we can lay our burdens down and we can celebrate our joys together. Uh, you know, I was very early uh, in my time in the ministry when I first went through doxology three years ago, and I didn't know how close to burning out I was. Uh, doxology showed me um, some of the pastoral pitfalls, some of the places where if you're not carefully guarding your own soul, um, you can fall off. And so I'm appreciative that doxology exists. It's a, uh, been a great blessing to me to, to meet people from around the country, other pastors, their families, uh, and to get to celebrate the joys, uh, the true joys of ministry. Um, there are joys uh, beyond the, the daily grind and the things that can wear us down so easily. So I would commend you uh, to do the exact same thing, to be a part of doxology. Uh, join our conversation. Thank you very much. Sure thing.